Hello YouTube friends, thanks so much for so much for joining me. I wanna go over a few things with you today. Um basically we are gonna be doing just some prep of some bottles and I wanna show you also I put this finish on this bottle that I did the other day and you guys have the video for it, but I just love how shiny it got. It's hard to say how pretty it looks but it looks gorgeous so i'm gonna be finishing up that bottle today this is the other one that i already finished i put the little things on the side and this is the the top i still gotta sh um, put the lacquer on the top part but this came out gorgeous see i don't know if you can see the shiny so shiny it turned out beautiful i love the shiny um, so today I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna actually just prime this one. If it dries, then I will do the decoupage on this one as well. But I'm not sure how quick it will dry. I think I probably can do the primer and dry it with um, the heater or with a, um, uh, what do you call that? Hair dryer, sorry not think it's straight so i did i want to show you guys this as well i did my um recipe for my homemade primer so this is what i'm gonna be using it's one spoon i did today normally i do with flour i did today with um uh baking powder no cornstarch sorry i did with cornstarch one uh, spoon of white glue, one spoon of cornstarch, and one spoon of um, blue cornstarch and white paint, acrylic white paint. And uh, we'll see how it dries, but it feels pretty good. Uh, normally I do it with flour. But I wanted to try to use the cornstarch instead of the flour to see how it works. Let me get, um, I'm getting my table all messed up because of all the, I'm gonna just put like that so I don't get more paint all over. Now these you can save, you don't have to, um, Throw this in the garbage. Um, you can save this and it will be all right. It should dry fairly quick. My goal is that it will dry quick so that I can do the decoupage. I want to do three bottles alike so that I can make a set. Once I make the set, I'm going to change the picture of my video that I went over how to do the decoupage, which is this bottle over here. So I wanna do, once I do that, I also, another thing too, when you do the primer, when it dries out, you probably wanna do a little sanding. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing two coats of primer, probably not, because I wanna do the acrylic white acrylic before I do the decoupage as well the primer basically is just so if you knew it's just so that the paint doesn't come off so um, that helps the paint not to come off from the bottle otherwise when you clean or if you scratch it for whatever reason you will peel off the paint and you definitely do not want to do that. You spend time doing your artwork and you don't want to have the paint come off. Um, I don't want to do it too thick of a layer. So I'm spreading. I personally like to do the brush, but I didn't want to have the brush stro stroke on this because I like the look of this. So I don't want to. I want to spread as much as I can without um, pushing it too much. 
I might have to do two coats of primer anyways because it doesn't feel like it's let me show you guys it doesn't feel like it's covering up too much so I'm gonna stop and finish this up and then I'll come back with you guys okay guys while that is drying the bottle because I end up doing two bottles I want to do an experiment as well I got a cup that I got from the dollar store uh, just a regular glass wine glass and I'm gonna do each side with one technique and try that so I'm gonna do a primer on two sides so I'm gonna do a primer over on this side and I'm using the brush because I like the brush better than the the other one and um, when you put in the primer uh, with the brush you have to make sure you spread it nice and neat it still doesn't look the same as with um, the brush but it's okay so I want to do that side and then I want to do this side oh another thing guys before you do anything on glass you want to make sure you um, clean it with alcohol okay just a little tip because you want to remove any oil from your fingers from your from any dust from the environment or so you want to do remove every any oil or any dust okay so now didn't do that very well uh, all right let's just leave it to dry this primer dries pretty quickly and of course you can always use the hair dryer uh, I do not want to use the hair dryer and always make sure that you put your brush in water so they don't get damaged and cover up your primer this is the homemade primer that I just talked to you about now this primer like I did one spoon of each and I have already done two bottles a cup and I still have enough for another two bottles so they will last so now um, I want to do this I want to try to do a crack on this side of the glass that's a see-through so let me wipe again because I touched it with alcohol while that's drying I'm gonna get white glue and see now this is an experiment guys never done it so I want to experiment I'm gonna do let me try to think I think I'm gonna spread the glue first and before I spread the glue because once the glue is spread you have to come in with the color so let me get a color that I want to use all right I decided that I'm gonna go with a metallic pink which is this one it's uh, Martha Stewart's Craft Pearl. And it's, um, you see it? Like a metallic pink. And I'm going to do this. So what I'm trying to do in here, it's causing a crack. So I'm going to be putting the glue, a thick amount of glue. So I'm going to start from here. Because what I want to do is when the glue dries underneath the paint, I want to be um, seeing the cracks. If that works, then we have homemade cracks. So I'm going to do a thick amount of glue. And I don't want to spread it. I want to literally just tap it on it. Because I want to, like I said, I want a really thick amount. I did not put a primer in here, so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I should probably have put some type of primer. But this cup is for myself, and it's just an experiment. Because there is a, you like in my country, I'm originally from Brazil. In Brazil, we can buy a crack um, substance that causes all the cracks on the art 
and I have that which I'm gonna be doing a video about it as well um, I don't know when but it's but it's the, the crack that I have is yellow so I'm gonna be doing a bottle which I think is gonna be very beautiful so if you guys have not subscribed yet please subscribe to our channel and um, be part of our family I think you're gonna love it so okay so this part I have see I have done a very heavy glue so I'm now I'm gonna turn the glass and do the other side while this one is drying a little I don't want to mess it up okay so I'm turning the glass now all right so let's do this side now and like I said I want to have the under glue because I want to have it have have cracks when the glue the glue dries underneath the paint it should crack the paint and that's what I want to do I want to see hopefully happening so if that happens, I will love it because I want to do a bottle this way. It will be easier without having to buy those um, material that causes the crack in Brazil. Especially because I'm not going to go there so soon. But I still haven't heard from anybody if you guys want me to do some videos on some trips. As a matter of fact, that's talking about Brazil remind me. Do you guys want me to do some videos on some trips? Um, some art in different countries that I visit or different locations that I visit? Put a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If I should do that or not. Because that would be interesting for... Um, some of you guys, if you like, um, I love traveling, so, um, my next trip will be going to, um, Colorado, so it'd be interesting to do a video over there, let me, got, let me know what you guys think, so how, this is what I did, now, the primer is almost dry. Make sure you get your, pen, your brush in the water immediately. So I think I'm gonna blow it a little bit to dry a little bit so it's not too wet because the paint I don't think is gonna go on too well with the, when it's so wet like this. So hang in there for a second. All right, so I dried with um, Oh, yeah, just almost dropped it. I dried it, not dry completely, but I, I pressed the, the hair dryer for a little bit. So now I'm going to put, it's not dry, but I'm going to be going in with the paint. I don't know, we'll see. I really don't know if it's gonna work. It's going in very thick, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. We'll find out together. Now, once you put in the paint, you should not um, do anything else. Like, I'm going to clean the borders. You should not dry with the hair dryer. See, I put in the color, so now let's turn around and put on the other side. Because I want to do is a decoupage. 
on one of the sides. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but we are trying different experiments, right? So you put it in and you leave it alone. See, it keeps making my thing move. So the next experiment I'm gonna be doing, which I want you guys to be with me on that, would be to mix white blue with the paint and see what happened. Now, sign up because we're not going to see the results on this until tomorrow. So sign up for it so that I can share with you and you get the notification when we go do the video to share the results. So I'm going to put my brush, remove some of this paint. This is a pretty paint. Look at that, that's so pretty. Very pretty paint. Okay, so now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take one of these, like that, and I'm gonna paint this, because I can definitely use this for something. All right, so I remove paint from the borders. Now I have to wait until it dries out. So I'm going to do that and leave it dry here. Now this, I'm not going to be able to dry this with the hair dryer just because it's not going to work. If you remove with the hair dryer, it's going to cause it to um, remove the cracks and I want to have the large cracks. Ooh. There you go. Now, these are some of the things that I can use to put on top of the bottles. And since I have all this leftover paint, I'm going to paint a couple because they will be pretty to have it on the bottom. And then just let it dry. There you go. Very pretty. This is a very pretty pink. And then you can put little uh, decorations on it, like half pearls. See, I think I'm gonna do a couple of these for some bottles. And then you have to put it somewhere to dry, so I'm just gonna stick it there. Um, now let's go back to the bottles. Okay, so I did that thick layer of um, I did that thick layer of glue and a thick layer of paint. So now we are going to experiment doing a very thin layer of glue and a thin layer of the paint. So let's see. I'm going to do a thin layer of the glue where I had the um, primer on to see how that goes, okay? Remember, we all experiment this together because I never done it. And um, we're just trying to see how it goes. So, with that being said, let me hold this do a thin layer of glue and then wait until this dries but now I'm gonna do on this other side so one side I did a thick layer at the other side I'm doing a thin layer and then I'm going to put in the, the paint I'm gonna let it dry naturally without speeding it to see so i'm gonna let it dry but not completely dry just dry naturally com not completely so okay now let that dry while that's drying i'm gonna hide 
uh, put this glue away. While that is drying, I'm going to get back with my bottle, the one that we first did, okay? I want to show that to you guys. It's dry. I did use the hair dryer on that one. Now, look at these two. Um, when you do laundry, you can save these cups for different purpose. I like it to put like the little cups in so they stay up. And um, I don't need, need to put back. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just protecting the paint so it doesn't dry. And then I just put in there so it will stand up on this cup. All right, so next, look at this color, guys. Look, if you have like a brush full of paint, you can do this and then uh, you can cut these and make art with it or a postcard or something like that. You can, I have a bunch of these things saved up. So I'm gonna move this aside while it's drying. It is cracking already, I can tell. Wow, it's also dripping. So let me move this up a little. Looks like it's dripping too. You see it? So we are learning this together. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. So one, I did the primer and then I put the glue on. And remember, this is not a cracked glue. This is the regular Elmer's glue. The other one, I put no primer. On this side, I put no primer. I put a heavy load of glue and a heavy load of paint. Um, so we're going to see what the difference is. But I want to let this dry out a little bit before I put another paint on top of it. So I'm going to just keep my eye on it. Or I would say half an hour to see. Now, when I move this, it start dripping. So I'm gonna have to leave it like this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I guess I'm just gonna put on this plate because I can always peel it off. I have, um, and I want to do something else right now. So let's get back with the bottle. Move this away. My table is a mess. Um, so this is the bottle and look this is so funny because I uh, there's some crack on it too I think when you use the primer I don't think you can speed dry it because if you speed dryer if you speed dry it look uh, I don't know if you can see it let me get it very close and see I don't know it's hard to see it with it it's a very small crack so I don't think it's gonna affect our work and look, it's so good because it doesn't come off. So this is good. So now I'm gonna decoupage this the same way I did this bottle. Okay, I want to show you guys, this one I did with the sponge and this one I did with the brush. It's, I don't think it's completely dry, but you can see the brush stroke when you do with the brush, so Probably would be better not to do with a brush. I don't know. I would say probably better not to do with a brush. And I did hold it, so I messed it up a little bit on this one. But this bottle, look at this bottle. It's a little bit taller. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see it. There you go. So it's a little bit taller. I can move that over that way. Then the other one. See? I think... That I like the bottle that's taller. See, in comparison to this, so this is where the other one will be. I kind of like this one better than this one for this purpose. I do want to do another decoupage on this one, but you know, before we can do the decoupage, I wonder if I should do the decoupage without painting it white, but I guess I'm not gonna want to experiment that much because I do think that we need the white paint so I'm gonna uh, sand it a little bit and just throw in the white paint because you feel like you need sanding okay guys so I did um, prime the two bottles let me move this out of the way I did the prime of the two bottles then I did one coat of white paint now, what I want to share with you guys is this. Once you're done with your paint, 
if you're gonna be using it again which in my case i will you can just put it in a plastic bag and just close it tight and you can either stick it in the refrigerator or you can just leave it so that it doesn't dry out this way you don't have to be washing your brush literally all the time and i have two bottles that i want to do now i also have to do i want to do another thing too i want to make a decoupage with um let me get this paper towel here i want to make a decoupage where i um what I do, um, uh, kind of like a see-through decoupage. Um, it's going to be another new thing for me as well, so I'm going to be sharing with you. But I start scraping before it's completely dry. I start scraping where I want the see-through part to go in the bottle. So this bottle is going to be another video, not today. Because I have to make sure it dries out really well, but I don't want to dry, wait until it dries. So I'm going to be cutting the um, picture that I wanted to go in there, and then I'm going to prep that. I also want to do the paint on a canvas that I'm going to be doing a resin art. So sign up, guys, so that you can see all that that's coming up. We got... Pretty much every night we're going to be doing some stuff in uh, my art channel. Either me or me and my grandson. So it will be some fun. We have some fun planned out for all of us and to share with all of you. And also I want to, um, pretty much this will be like the prep, how I got there, the primers and um how i separated you i primed i'm gonna be mark the bottle and then i start scraping it until it's dry it still can scrape once it's dry you cannot do it now another way of doing this would be because i just had this idea i do i wasn't planning on doing that but so i had this idea and i start scraping because i want to have it in there it doesn't come off very easy it's, it's, it, even though it's too wet once it's dry it will not come off so I want to make sure I get my picture but um, another way of doing this would probably be easier which would be you mark where your picture is gonna go put tape around it and not prime or anything that part um, I think I might prime it with glue after I'm done or or maybe some type of, I'm not sure. I, if you guys have any idea for me on this one, let me know. I'm going to prepare the area that I want without the prime. And then if you have an idea, maybe a clear primer, I don't know. But I do want to be able to see through the picture on this one. So, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. You already have the video in there. See, I'm trying to make a nice shape of the picture that is going to go in here. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I've done, let me know. If you want to see anything different, let me know as well. And um, I'll do a video on it. And if you have any ideas, I appreciate any ideas. And I'm going to also be doing a, a video on decoupage on these plates. So that will be exciting as well. So stay tuned. And thanks for watching. And this is the bottle. Oh, another thing that I want to give you guys. I forgot about it. And with the bottle, see I bought a stick. And then I just put the bottle, the stick inside the bottle. And then I can color the bottom part of it, even though I'm going to be putting some type of foam underneath it. Um, I like to put this color in so it looks nicer. But this is another idea that I want to share with you guys. You just get a stick at Walmart and you put it in there and then you can just dry it by standing it somewhere. I put it in my uh, garbage container. 
and then I um, just put something that's heavy to make sure it will hold up. That's another thing too. You don't want to work on your bottom just to break it. So that's how you do. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I will talk to you soon. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.